Yeah, but we're gonna set up a new pain cave. I did a video a couple years back, put a pain cave inside my house. The sweat was getting in the carpet and it was, it would just get too hot in the summer and like it just, anyway. I kind of been demoted into the garage, into this little tiny dungeon in the garage. You're always lucky enough to get a hold of the Wahoo setup. So like we've got the Wahoo climber, the smart fan, the smart trainer. You know what I mean? We got a TV and a computer for Zwift. Dude, we're gonna set it up, bro. We're gonna set up the, the ultimate pain cave, or at least upgrade our pain cave. Okay, so I have a bear, and he comes every night. And the, and the bear, I don't know why the bear tried to get the fan, but this is, this is the doing of a bear. I mean, I, I'm not even joking. That's like his tear marks. Look at his paw. Look at the, the you, you know what I mean? The bear is a fan of the fan. Also to give you like a tour, <laughs> here it is, dude. It's not much of a tour. Uh, we put up this like work smarter, not harder banner thing that I designed uh, to just to get behind, you know, cause there's a brick wall. We've got some, Fondo jerseys, the Garden State Fondo jersey that I won, the Hammer Fondo jersey, and uh, the Alpine Fondo, uh, Jeremiah's Fondo jersey. My wife set up this deal. So my nutrition, some like Monster Hydros, my bottles, uh, drink mix, just like SIS, just all this stuff. This is like home, home and good stuff. But nutrition, I've got a table. So we're gonna set up the thing here. The TV's gonna be there. I've got the router for the internet right there. So high speed internet, cause we streaming. Okay, so the trainer I had before was the rock and roll from the Kinetic. Uh, it was, had a tire, you know, your rubber hit or a drum. And dude, it was a fantastic trainer to begin on. Very comfortable to ride on cause it like went side to side. But since it wasn't direct drive, it's very difficult to race properly with it. It's very difficult to train properly with it. Direct drive is just what you need if you want to take it serious. The thing with the Kinetic was that the tighter you, you clamp down the wheel, the less power you have. So I could fluctuate my power by like 300 watts, dude, seriously. If I just barely put the drum on the wheel and it would slip, dude, it would be like I'm doing 400 watts and I'm doing 50. So if you end up like cheat, how do you do the thing? Oh, okay, you push down. Open! <laughs> Trainer, Matt, fan? Oh, dude, do you see what the bear did? I mean, the bear just wrecked this. That looks pretty, dude. That looks very futuristic. Quick starter guide. This looks complicated. That looks cool. That looks really cool. So the idea, I'm guessing, and I don't really know. So the kicker headwind actually, it, it, how do I explain it? Just like the smart trainer adjusts to the hills and makes it harder to, when you go up a hill and it's like you have to shift and stuff, this actually affects the way that the wind's hitting you. So when you're climbing, you can set it to where there's not a lot of wind hitting you. And when you're going fast, the, the fan blows. So it blows at different rates depending on how fast you're going. How cool is that, dude? It gets so immersive. What's next? The climb. Dude, everything is so heavy. Take your kicker to another level. Just get out of your box. What is all those things? What the hell are these? Are these like spacers? That's so many spacers, dude. Not a handyman, dude. I don't know what I'm doing. Where does this just stand up? Important. Please read before removing this label. I don't know what I'm doing though. Which way does this go? Does your, your bike hooks to here? That wouldn't make sense that it goes at an angle. It makes it would make more sense to go like this, right? Right? Let's read the manual now. How do you connect? No, I was wrong. It goes like this. 
Goes like that. So which one is A? Well, that doesn't make sense. Why you would not quick release use adapter A? But A, there is no A. It's just blue. It's just uh, it's it's color coded. So is there a color code decoder? A color code decoder? All right. So here's what we got so far. Dude, is this a puzzle? We got a green light, boys. Dude, this, uh, this fan is like, whoa, dude, whoa, okay. Whoa, dude, look how high it goes, man. What? Dang, dude. Whoa. Whoa, bro. Dang, dude, bro. Whoa, bro. Dude, whoa. Bro. Whoa, 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 bro. Whoa, bro. Dang, dude. That's crazy. I mean, my first initial impressions of the climb, it blowing me away. It was nothing like this when I tried it two years ago at all. Not even close. So one of the biggest reasons I didn't want to get the climb, it was fixed. It didn't, it didn't have any motion in it. But the way the bottom is, is sort of this like arc and it like rotates. And so then not only do the bars rotate underneath you, so it doesn't feel like rigid, like you can actually, cause when you stand, you know, you get different, you get different muscle, you recruit different muscles. So the rotation of the bars is blowing me away. How high it goes up is insane, dude. This climb so then let's get let's start swift so far i have no clue what i'm doing as ex as expected i have no clue what i'm doing pairing the kicker climb to the kicker snap ensure kicker climb and wahoo trainer are powered on hold down the middle button did it hold the remote next to the wahoo trainer okay ensure the kicker climb is paired okay did that okay so now like that's paired now that was my big question was how does this how does the climb talk to Zwift? But what it does is this is talking to Zwift, and I have the little A and T deal, right? That's talking to that, or, or that is talking to this two-way street, and then this is talking to that. But so now, what do I do with this? Mm, mine didn't look like that. Set kicker headwind to heart rate or speed mode. Oh, that's so cool. So you can set it to speed, okay? So then you're going fast and there's more wind blowing on you. Awesome. But then I was thinking, well, dude, if you're on a climb and you're just heart's blowing up and like it's set to barely peter out wind, that would kind of suck. But you can set it to your heart rate. So then your heart rate's 190 and that's actually gonna, as you're elevating your heart rate, because also in here, dude, it's freaking freezing. And so sometimes, dude, most in the winter, I don't even run a fan. Literally don't run a fan at all because it's that cold. So how do I set that up? Is blinking heart rate. There's my heart rate. Okay. hate this at all but man the free will on this kicker it just like as soon as you stop pedaling there's no resistance that's slowing down your you know your 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 rpms and so that's one of the biggest things about having a smart setup is like if you're on a dumb trainer it's like you're riding in sand and as soon as you let off the power at all what ends up happening is that you, then you lose your cadence 
And so it's very difficult. It's very difficult to ride efficient on a dumb, dude, chill. It's very hard to ride efficient on a dumb trainer. This feels so efficient. Like you can like in a race, lift off the power, even coast, but then come right back into the same speed. You know what I mean? So, cause that's how real, a real bike is, right? Um, the kicker climb, it's a little jerky and a little delayed. I mean, that's just, I don't know if there's a way for it to communicate uh, with, with Zwift beforehand, like it knows what's coming up because it doesn't, it doesn't adjust the height until it, like the percentage of the gradient starts changing. And so it's a little delayed. That's the only thing I'll say about the climb, but I really like that it moves up and down it kind of gives you a pretty like good feel of, of real road feel. Um, I love that it spins. That was a big thing for me. Oh my goodness, dude, your boy's popular. So then uh, the, the, the headwind though, dude. Okay, I have two fans. I had a little one and then like an industrial fan. The industrial fan was for the summer. The thing would freaking blow you off your bike. The fact that this one is smart to your heart rate. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's smart to your speed. I didn't know it's smart to your heart rate. Smart to your heart rate makes so much freaking sense, dude. And right now, it's petering out air, like barely, barely putting out air because my heart rate's under 100 beats per minute, 79 beats per minute right now. But let's, uh, dude, I'm gonna do a race right now. Let's do a race. Okay, boy, so um, I have no clue what I'm doing ever, okay, I'm not a handyman, and this was all super easy to set up. Everything sort of just worked, um, which is great, and I don't even know how it worked. I don't even understand how things got going, but they are, and so in order of in, way impressed to slightly impressed I guess is the fan blows me away it's a very powerful fan but it is able to go from just leaking air to like blowing you away and when you connect it to your heart rate it's so amazing because as you go through the ride you get hot and cold and hot and cold and that kind of just zaps you energy right and so if you are always trying to before my old fan I'd have to like bend down and like do level one, level two, level three, turn it off. This is all just based on my heart rate. So when your heart rate goes low, the fan goes low. When the heart rate goes high, the fan goes high. It's amazing. I mean, dude. So if you're a bro and you're like, dude, riding on the trainer is the worst thing in the world. I get it. I've been there. But when you put this on your bars, you can kind of just manually like, like I'm in a climbing mode right now. And it's so much more comfortable when you're sort of inclined, you know what I mean? Um, but then, so you work these muscles, then you can go down, boom, 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 boom. And then I could just tap that. And then it goes to like now, it's, it's in line with the, uh, the gradient. The trainer itself, awesome. When there's this much technology involved, you're bound to have some issues. Um, but as of right now, dude, it's so awesome. Now I know there's a whole interface outside of Zwift that you can use, but to be honest, bro, why are you not on Zwift? Like it's the greatest thing ever. We're going to put in some big hours this, uh, this off season. So come find me on Zwift, dude. Do my hundred plus one vegan cyclist ride. It's first Wednesday of every month. It's a rotating time schedule. So look out for it. Uh, we've got six more, seven more, uh, in the, you know, so, dude, get on there, get the vegan cyclist kit in game, and as always, vegan cyclist. You. Yeah.
dude. I'm fine.